Welcome, welcome. Hi everyone, are you ready? Let's go on now talking about past continuous versus simple past. I want you to listen and take a look at this. This is a timeline. Notice both actions happened at the same time, but one action began earlier and was in progress when the other action happened. So we may say, I was reading a book when you came. What you just listened to and saw was the intro to this new topic. Now we'll play the audio program so you can follow and understand it better. Remember to stay there in the explanation and take notes. Past continuous versus simple past. Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Use the simple past for a completed action. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. I will begin talking about simple past because we have studied this before. So let's review. Simple past. When do we use it? We use simple past to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Read the following examples. They went to the movies. He came home. She drove my car. I will leave you with the structure of affirmative, negative, and questions just for you to have it in mind and practice it. Now let's talk about past continuous. This tense has more than one use, but this time we will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. Take a look at the following examples. I was sleeping when the dog barked. She was working when he had an accident. You were painting the house when you ran out of paint. Take notes on the following. We have these two words, while and when. While it is usually used with past continuous and when it is usually used with simple past. In other words, we use while plus long actions, past continuous, and when plus short actions, simple past. Finally, before we go on using both tenses in one sentence, I will show you the structure for past continuous. Listen and follow it. For affirmative, subject plus was, were, plus verb, ing. Negative, subject plus was, were, plus not, plus verb, and ing. Questions, was, were, plus subject, plus verb, ing, plus question mark. Past continuous versus simple past. We often use the past continuous and the past simple tense together. The past continuous is often used with the simple past to show that one action was in progress when the other action occurred. I want you to take a look at this diagram and try to make sense of it. Now work on the following statements. You may do it with your own information. For example, you may say, Last week, I was driving when I got a flat tire. Remember to use both tenses just like I did. All right, all right. We're going to repeat the video one more time. We're going to repeat the video one more time. Listen, please. Hi, 
Hi everyone, are you ready? Let's go on now talking about past continuous versus simple past. I want you to listen and take a look at this. Hello, Eric. Good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening. How are you doing today? Uh, I feel tired. <laughs> Why are you tired? Um, because uh, I went to play soccer. Oh, that's awesome. And what position do you usually play? Um, ¿cómo sería? Delantero, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, you can say, I play striker. I play striker. I play striker. Or you can say, I play forward. Repeat, please. I, I play, play striker. I play striker. I play forward. I play forward. All right. Awesome. At this moment, what we are going to do is we are going to review the previous class. Can you tell me a little bit about what you remember from the previous class? What do you remember? Um, remember, uh, use uh, the camera passive. That's correct. I remember, no, I remember, and it and three museum, uh -huh. three types uh -huh. of museum. Uh -huh. Can you describe a museum in El Salvador? Um, I don't know, no, no conozco. Oh, you don't know museum. any museums. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. In El Salvador, I don't know. Okay, so in yesterday's class, we looked at the past continuous. Right, you say I was studying English. I was studying English when the lights went out. Or you could say I was taking a uh, shower while while uh, he, you could say for example I was taking a shower while the washer washed my laundry Okay, so these are some examples of the past continuous. Right now, what we are going to do is we are going to watch a video and review the past continuous. At this moment, does anybody have any questions? Listen, please. Hi, everyone. Are you ready? Let's go on now talking about past continuous versus simple past. I want you to listen and take a look at this. This is a timeline. Notice both actions happened at the same time, but one action began earlier and was in progress when the other action happened. So we may say, I was reading a book when you came. What you just listened to and saw was the intro to this new topic. Now we'll play the audio program so you can follow and understand it better. Remember to stay there in the explanation and take notes. Past continuous versus simple past. 
Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Use the simple past for a completed action. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. I will begin talking about simple past because we have studied this before. So let's review. Simple past. When do we use it? We use simple past to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Read the following examples. They went to the movies. He came home. She drove my car. I will leave you with the structure of affirmative, negative, and questions just for you to have it in mind and practice it. Now let's talk about past continuous. This tense has more than one use, but this time we will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. Take a look at the following examples. I was sleeping when the dog barked. She was working when he had an accident. You were painting the house when you ran out of paint. Take notes on the following. We have these two words, while and when. While it is usually used with past continuous and when it is usually used with simple past. In other words, we use while plus long actions, past continuous and when plus short actions, simple past. Finally, before we go on using both tenses in one sentence, I will show you the structure for past continuous. Listen and follow it. For affirmative, subject plus was, were, plus verb, ing. Negative, subject plus was, were, plus not, plus verb, and ing. Questions, was, were, plus subject, plus verb, ing, plus question mark. Past continuous versus simple past. We often use the past continuous and the past simple tense together. The past continuous is often used with the simple past to show that one action was in progress when the other action occurred. I want you to take a look at this diagram and try to make sense of it. Now work on the following statements. You may do it with your own information. Okay, now in this activity, guys, what I would like for everybody to do is we are going to be looking at this right here. I would like for you to give me at least five examples using last month, two years ago, I met a friend while using the vocabulary from this video. Five examples, and I want you to write the examples over here in the discussion forum. You can work in pairs and you can write the same examples. I'm going to let multiple participants share your screen. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Uh, let's go. Yes, teacher. All right, let's do it. Five examples, please. Five examples, please. You can share your screen. You can share your screen. Hello? You can share your screen. You can share your screen. You can share your screen. 
Uh, you can share yes. your screen. You can share your screen. I don't have. That is correct. Uh -huh. Five. Five examples in the platform. Okay. Okay. Last month. Los escribimos y después compartimos, porque tienen que ser cinco, dice. Sí. Vaya, está bien. Sí, está bien. Vea esa. Okay. I, was, I was traveling to Mexico last month. Last month. I was traveling. Dime, pero aquí estamos hablando de. Bueno, pero según el ejemplo, aquí estamos hablando de, de, de paz, paz continua y uh, paz. Sería, paz continua. Paz continua y and paz present. Mm -hmm. Porque dice: Last week I was driving when I got a flat tire. Pero según el ejemplo que está ahí, she was cooking all morning. ¿En cuál? ¿En el siguiente? No, en el anterior. Acá. Después de ese, ese, soldier, soldier plus, plus was and where, plus where, hola. Thank you. Ah, okay. Y me quedó la duda porque ya en este ejemplo, pass continuo versus simple pass, ya el ejemplo que te pone es este. Este de acá. O sea, en 
Esto en was traveling sería eh, presente y con, continuo. Sería, perdón, pasado continuo, pasado simple. Pasado sí, continuo. Así. Traveling. Voy a decir ahí tengo mis dudas. Teacher, help me. Eric, yo la voy a hacer así como yo entiendo, así como el ejemplo que le he mandado. Igual la voy a hacer, porque ahí me quedó la duda ahí, sí. Vea si la niña está comiendo. Todavía 
Ustedes no lo hacen para gastar. No, pero. Eric, you are no. finished. Uh -huh. So she stole the end of puesto. I was visiting downtown last month. No sé, refiriéndome al centro histórico.
Eric, los teníamos que compartir en la plataforma, ¿no? Sí, abajo del video. Ah. A, a, a post, sí. Ya los hiciste. Mira, yo lo hice, pero no estoy seguro de que está bien. Dice. Pero ya eh, ya lo posteaste, ya lo compartiste. Ahorita. Pero, por ejemplo, puse uno de la forma que sale en el ejemplo. Puse last month I was playing soccer when it rained a lot. Pero también hice el otro así como tú lo habías hecho. I was visiting downtown last month. El otro dice, I was traveling to Guatemala two years ago. También hice, two years ago, I was visiting my mother when it shocked very hard. ¿Cuántos ejemplos hiciste? Por ejemplo. All right, let me have one volunteer, please. Let me have one volunteer, please. Diana. Yes, let me. I have. Um, I met my friend while I was studying when she asks, asked me for a pen. Okay, good, good, mm -hmm. excellent. Thank you. Amanda, do you have an example? Yes, teacher. Let me have uh, an example. She was, yes, teacher. She was driving when she had an accident. She was driving when she had an accident. That is awesome. Angelica, let me have an example. 
Yes. Uh, yesterday, when I was cooking dinner, I had a stomach ache. Awesome. Awesome. Lisette Castillo, let me hear an example. I was traveling to Mexico last month. Very good. Eric. Two years ago, I was visiting my mother when it shocked very hard. Perfect. All right, guys. Now we're going to go ahead and look at the following activity, which is coming from the next section. 2.2 knowledge check. Instructions. Complete these sentences and use the verbs in the brackets using the correct tense. Choose two answers for each exercise. We are going to change groups. Ready? You will have five minutes. Let's go. You can share your screen. You can share your screen. Two point, teacher, two point two. Correct, two point two. What happened to your partner? Hello, I don't know. Okay. I'm going to see if I can put Diana in this group. Okay, teacher. Hello. El mismo de ayer es entonces. Two point two. Ese es el de ayer. Pero como comenzar lo íbamos o no, ya lo habíamos realizado. ¿Qué no, número es? No lo realizamos. ¿Qué número two es? Two point two. two. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, my brother was snowboarding when he broke his leg in several places. Mm -hmm. Several two. years ago, I was having problem with math, so I found a tutor to help me. Yes, number three, the couple were living, no, 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 the couple had their first child when they were living in a tiny apartment. Yes. Yeah. While four, I was driving in Ireland a few years ago, I realized I was on the wrong side of the road. Number five is Ulrich uh, was reading a good book, but someone told her the ending. 
while my mother was cooking. Broke. Yes. Okay. You can share the screen. You can share the screen. Okay. Okay, teacher. Um, Quiero ver si yo puedo compartir porque. Ah, bueno. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Dale, dale. Aquí está. Ahí. Was having, the... Yes, yes. Problems with math, so I found. I found. The couple was having their first child when they lived in a tiny apartment. No, in that no. case is uh, the. We're living. The couple were living. Ah, okay. When they, no, the couple had their first child when they were living in a tiny apartment. Ah, okay. Ah, sí, cierto. Sí, en esa también me equivoqué yo. Okay, gracias. While I was driving. Esto sí es I was driving. Yes. And, and the second two. one is released. Realized. Uh -huh. Oh, re re realized. Yeah. And, and Ulrich was reading a good book, but someone talked. When my mother was cooking, the um, rank three times. Yes, the yes. rank is correct. Sí. Okay. Tracy and Eric met when met, they right? yes when they were working at the when same restaurant working. in Vancouver. Okay. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Sí, en la, en la tercera ni me, en la primera vez me salió, me salió mal. Y dije, sí, es que raro, dije, pero cabal, eh, lo estaba haciendo mal. <risa> en esta de por en el, la tercera. Ajá, por el was. Y es como que, ah, sí, es cierto. Es plural. Aquí simplemente lo de la voz pasiva y la voz activa, no. Mm, creo. Porque todas las demás son, por ejemplo, el de cuatro, I was driving. Pero esta empieza con el... Con el simple pass, ¿verdad? Ajá, con el simple pass y luego sigue con el pasado continuo. Uh -huh. Pero no, no sé, es solo una hipótesis. Yo, yo ahí me confundo porque, bueno, por la voz pasiva y la activa, es que ahí yo creo que ya me he confundido porque yo pienso que siempre solo va a ser con by. Pero creo que no, o sea, cuando funciona, no sé de esa manera, pero no sé cómo eh, reconocer cuál es la voz activa y cuál es la voz pasiva, aún me cuesta eso. Fíjese que a mí también me costó, porque costó también en español, <ríe> yo lo aprendí en español primero. <ríe> sí, porque y... está, está un poco complicado. Sí, y es más que todo por diplomacia, siento yo, porque cuando... Cuando me lo enseñaron era para, para dirigirme a, a personas británicas. Mm -hmm. Entonces, este, son como más polite. Ajá, entonces, más polite. Ajá, dicen que por eso hay que usar más la voz pasiva. Entonces, el, la pasiva la ocupan como, como en vez de decir... Algo pasó, es como algo ha pasado. Ajá, sí, es cierto. Es bien distinto cuando se dice, yo escribí el, el, el ejemplo de los, de los videos, digamos, en el caso de The President Opened the Building in 
1931 uh -huh. in voz but in pasiva is it was opened by the president in All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have the first volunteer, Eric, read number one, please. Eric is the first volunteer. Read number one, please. Eric. Eric, can you hear me? Hello, hello, can you hear me? I, my brother was. My brother was snowboarding when he broke his leg in several. Excellent. In, in several, several places. places. Thank you. Place. Select somebody, Eric. Select somebody, Eric. Uh, Angelica Lasso. Angelica Lasso, number two. Several years ago, I was having problems with math, so I found a tutor to help me. A tutor to help me, excellent. Select somebody, please, for number three. Lisette Castillo. Lisette Castillo. The couple had their first school child when child. they were living child when they were living in a tiny apartment. Tiny, very good. Thank you. Tiny apartment. Tiny apartment. Go ahead, select the next participant. Okay. Diana Vasquez. Diana Vasquez, number four. While I was driving in Ireland a few years ago, I realized I was on, a, on the wrong side of the road. Excellent. While I was driving in Ireland, thank you. Number five, select somebody. Select somebody, number five. Diana Vasquez, select somebody, I'm please. Sorry. Sorry. Yes, um, Eric, again. Awesome, Eric, again. Participant teacher. Number five. Yeah. Number five is uh, Ulrich. Uh, Ulrich. Ulrich was reading a good book, but someone told her the ending. Perfect. Thank you, Eric. Select the next participant for number six. Um, Lisette Castillo. Lisette Castillo. Well, my mother was cooking dinner last night. 
dinner. The floor dinner last night. The phone rang three times. Perfect. Num select somebody, please. Lisette Castillo, select somebody. Okay. Angelica Lazo. Angelica Lazo, number seven. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Um, yes, of course. Tracy, Tracy and Eric met when they were working at the same restaurant in Vancouver. Vancouver is nice. Awesome. Excellent, guys. Perfect. Any questions related to this activity, vocabulary or pronunciation related to this vocabulary? Anybody? Teacher, what is the meaning of realize? Realize. Realize, I'm sorry. Realize. This one right here, realize. While I was driving in Ireland a few years ago, I realized, uh, like, for example, uh, surprise, ding, 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 ding. Uh, like you say, for example, in Spanish, we say, um, how would you say realize in Spanish? Like when something when you think about something and you, oh my God, you're like surprised uh, about the situation, right? For example, for example, uh, in El Salvador, in what side do you drive? Right or left? Um, right. right, right. Yeah. Everybody right. drives on the right. So imagine that you are in another country and suddenly you realize like ding, ding, ding. Oh my God, people here drive on the left side. Do you understand? It's like, it's like how me di cuenta. That is correct. That is exactly correct. Yeah. Okay. Find out. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. We're going to be looking at a video related to adverbs for telling a story. Let's listen, please. Hi, this time we'll talk about some adverbs which are often used in storytelling to emphasize that something interesting is about to happen. Which of these adverbs are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral? Coincidentally, fortunately, luckily, miraculously. Sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately. Now that you have listened and decided which ones were positive, <coughs> negative, and neutral, we want you to complete the following statements with those adverbs so you can come up with. Okay, guys, now for this activity, we are going to write three examples. One using, I was walking down the street. I started out as a normal day. We were on our way to the festival. So you are going to finish the sentences, complement the sentences, and write your examples over here in the discussion box. Where is the discussion box? No discussion box? With creative sentences. Okay, what happened here? Okay, never mind. There is no discussion box. Let's look at the next one. This one doesn't have a discussion box either. Where are the discussion boxes? Okay, so in this case, we're not going to do it in the discussion forum. You're just going to write it in your notebook. You're going to identify if these words are negative or positive. Negative or positive. And I want you to do it in your notebook since we can't do it on the discussion forum. 
Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right, teacher. let's do it. You will have three minutes. Write at least, well, I first identify if it's negative or positive, and then write two examples. Ahora me está dando error. Hola, hola. Hola. You can share hola, your screen. You can share hello, your screen. Hello. Angélica, ¿me oye? ¿Sí? Ah, ¿usted me escucha? ¿Sí? Sí. Ah, ok, sí. ok. Sí, es que me estaba dando problema la, la plataforma. Ah, no, hombre. Sí, sí. Y vaya, tenemos que usar, hacer las oraciones con, las, con el vocabulario que nos han dado, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Correct. Three examples. Okay. Thank you. I was walking down the street when when I a was... man. Hola. Yes. 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 No. Siga. Siga. When a man asked me for uh, an address. Mm. Digamos, si yo quisiera decir, eh, I was walking down the street when, eh, como me encontré con alguien. When I met, I met someone. I met. Ah, ok. I met. Eh, I met es como de conocer o encontrar, creo yo. Pero solo para personas, ¿verdad? Mm, sí. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Porque de ahí está found. Bueno, find. Pero found es pero como para información. Como Ajá. O también encontrar algo perdido, creo yo. Ajá. Ok, ok. Ah, pues, I was walking down the street when unexpected, unexpectedly eh, met my childhood friend. Oh, ok. I was walking. Uh, I it started out as a normal day, but sadly I had an accident. I had an and what? An an accident. Oh okay. Um, y la tercera podría ser we were on our way to the festival when suddenly we found out it was cancelled mm -hmm. ok mm, I had another one uh, we were on our way to the festival when suddenly started to rain Y, y ahí, pero esa es pregunta. Y sería, it, when suddenly it started to rain o when suddenly it started to rain. No sé, no, no sé si, si se llevaría el, el ay, it, como pero el... es que no sé, esa es Ajá. una duda. Teacher, no puede contestar. <laughs> I'm sorry, repeat. Es que... 
no sabemos si, si, si está bien correcto decir we were on our way to the festival when it started to rain o when it started to rain. When it started uh -huh. to rain. When, when it, it started. started to rain. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes, of course. All right, guys, time is up. We will see you back on Monday. Have a good weekend. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Take care. You too. Have an awesome weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. All right, all right. Good night. Time's up. See you Monday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Good night.